Time to change the pads on the crossbar this morning. The uh, Avid BB7 pads. They're the originals. They've been on there for five, six years. They've covered uh, thousands of kilometres in road, clay, crappy mud that we have around here and everything. And they've, they've, they've done their last. It's time for them to go. Time for a brake pad placement. They are well past their best. Fresh ones there. Let's do it. Five mil. So obviously if you were out on the trail, you wouldn't remove the caliber. You'd take the wheel out to get access, but uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be a bit of a pig, so I am going to remove the caliper. Bolts are out. And now, caliper comes off. So wind out the pistons with that one, and with that one. Wind them so they're fully out to push them back into the caliper either side. So the pistons are fully back, you should just be able to push the pants to the middle and pull them out the caliper, but uh, nothing's ever that easy, so I'm going to get a pair of needle nose pliers to help me. So, levers out of the caliper, into the caliper like that, just get springy, springy and It took me a while to actually realise what it is, how the pad engages in the caliper and it's actually, there's a little clip at the top there and you want to get one side in and then push it up, it's, it's exaggerated here, this, this pops past the clip there so that both sides are engaged but yeah, it took me long enough to work out that is the action I was working for, hopefully that'll save you 10 minutes. <laughs> So got a bit of a problem. The new pad, old pad, the new pads are ever so slightly bigger than the old ones. And they just will not clip into the caliper. So I'm going to, uh, I don't really want to. I'm going to have to take a file to the new ones and just take a bit of material off the inside of the tab there just a tiny bit because it just will not pop in hmm. here we go so here's the tabs now I have uh, just filed off the inside of both of those because they just would not fit and this is so this this is the action you're actually looking for is to get one of the tabs on the pad in and then lever the other one part there's a point of resistance and you just push past it and then you uh, stuck now that one doing that both pads and the spring is ass. So 
Yeah, I tried and tried and tried with the old pads, and that they went in, out, in, out. The new ones, just the tolerances on the manufacturer obviously isn't there. So, oh, pads changed. Pop the caliper back on, and then we'll realign the caliper to the disc. This caliper's back on. The caliper is on. It's just finger tight at the moment. You can still move. And uh, I will um, pull the brake lever so the pads engage, tighten the bolts, let go of the brake lever, it should be centered, and then it's a case of just winding in these. Wind them in, so keep on winding, winding, winding until they just touch the, the uh, disc and back a notch, and then good to go. Let's do that. And then to wind the pads in so they just about touch the caliper you can see on one side there there's a huge gap on that side so I'm gonna wind this in quite a bit until the pad starts to come in and keep on going There we go. Keep on adjusting until uh, they're not catching anymore, and you've got a nice bite point on. That's that. So, um, I hope that was helpful. I would like to have seen this video before I attempted the rear caliper because uh, I just couldn't understand how the pad popped into position. So, um, yeah. Enjoy the video. Um, there you go. If there's anything you think I did wrong, let me know in the comments. And uh, make sure you subscribe. 